You're watching sports on ABC6. This past Friday, Greenville Christian ended its regular season with a 38-12 win at West Memphis Christian. The Saints entering the postseason with a 6-4 overall record. A big turnaround for the program this fall, and it's been a family affair. Practice makes perfect. Greenville Christian tuning up for the playoffs. It's been quite a season for the Saints under first-year head coach John Reed McClendon. You're not ever satisfied. You know, there's always room for improvement, but definitely it's been a, a special year. Uh, for sure. One of the star players for Greenville Christian, senior quarterback Jordan McClendon, who just happens to be Coach McClendon's younger brother by six years. I didn't really expect to, to be coaching him, I guess, you know, as a head coach anyway. I, you know, been an assistant with him, you know, the past uh, few years, but I, I didn't expect to be, I guess, the head coach when, you know, with him still here. It, it's great because, I mean, we go home together, so we can talk about stuff and, you know, we can we can go through plays at home and stuff. So I mean, it's it's so far it's worked out pretty good, and I've enjoyed it. The partnership has worked out so well, in fact, that the McClendon brothers say they can read each other's mind. There's just some plays that we have that chemistry with. You know, we're on the goal line. We got great receivers, so most of the time we throw jump balls to them, and we just know that we kind of have that chemistry together. He knows what's going through my mind, and it's it makes things a lot easier for sure uh, with him. You know, he he can make calls. Uh, sometimes without me even having to say anything. Brothers often disagree, but the McClendons are working together for a common goal. I try to listen to him and just get some feedback from him, just like I do with, with all the other guys to, you know, just to make sure he's comfortable with what we're doing. But uh, yeah, sure, we have we have times where kind of have to rein him back in a little bit and say, hey, all right, you know, remember remember uh, that I, I'm a coach out here, you know. Most of the time I got to realize that uh, he's the coach. I have other players looking at me. Uh, they can't, if they see me arguing with them, they think they can argue with them, but I just got to kind of keep my composure and I'll argue with them and we can talk about it some other time, you know. But most of the time we agree on things, but, you know, when we do argue, we always work it out pretty good. And that brotherly love has made 2014 a season the McClendons won't soon forget. I was excited just to be taking over the program, but it does make it a little more special with him, with him being here, you know, being able to coach him uh, in his final year. And of course, best of luck to the McClendons and Greenville Christian as they play at Heidelberg in round one of the playoffs on Friday night.